Hello, my name is Rajesh Gatti and I am a technical leader for the Cisco ACI solution technology. Today I'm going to talk about an inbuilt troubleshooting tool in ACI called F-Triage. F-Triage is a packet tracing tool invoked from the APIC CLI. It comes integrated with the Pore 2 release. It can help with troubleshooting broken flows which can save a lot of time in the debugging. Tool traces the path hop by hop till the point of exit. It also provides detailed information regarding nodes in the path along with the ingress and egress interfaces. The tool can be really handy in narrowing down the device dropping the frame along with the drop reason. F-Triage can help with tracing different traffic types which includes bridged, routed, IPv4, IPv6, unicast and multicast flows. It is also supported for different ACI topologies like single pod, multi pod, remote leaf and multi site setup. F-Triage help menu is available from the APIC CLI as shown. Some example use cases are highlighted on the slide as a quick reference. For our understanding of this tool, we'll use a single pod topology consisting of three leaves and two spines for a quick test. We have two endpoints in the same EPG. Endpoint 1 is connected to leaf 101 on port E117 and endpoint 2 is connected to the fabric but you are not aware of its exact connectivity point. You want to trace the path of the packet between endpoint 1 to endpoint 2 within the fabric. Start a continuous ping from endpoint 1 to endpoint 2. For this test, we assume that ping is successful between the endpoints. Log into the APIC and use the admin credentials to execute the F triage command. Input variables include ingress leaf 101, ingress interface ETH 117, and importantly, source and destination IPs. Bridge subcommand is used for intra EPG traffic flow. Tool will start path tracing with timestamps for each trace. A lot of verbose details are printed to show the nodes, interfaces and forwarding attributes. We'll break up the output into three sections to review further. In the first section, we will look at the ingress leaf. The ingress entry point is leaf 101, ETH 117 and is already known. The egress interface as per the tool is ETH 149. We also know that the packet came in with an end cap of 1101. Some additional useful attributes worth knowing is the ingress PD, which is BD1, and ingress WERF, which is WERF1, and they are part of tenant ABC1. You will also see source and destination MAC for the endpoint IPs. This section covers all the details for the ingress leaf. You can visualize and document the topology with the interface information extracted from the output. In the second section of the output, we'll look at the next device in the path, which is the transit spine. Since there are two spines in the topology, we can see from the F triage results that traffic is transiting spine 1, ingressing on line card 1 on port ETH 13. We also see that the spine 1 is a modular spine, so traffic is traversing through one of the fabric modules, FM24. The traffic then egresses out module 1 on ETH 15 towards the destination leaf. Another advantage of the tool is exposing the modules on the modular spine involved in the traffic path. In the third section of the output, we'll focus on the destination leaf. You will see that traffic is ingressing leaf 103 on port ETH149 and egressing on port ETH117 with an end cap of 1101. This is a local EP in BD1 and WERF1. Topology for the egress leaf is now clear. In a nutshell, F-Triage gave a clear view of the path along with many additional attributes useful for debugging, working or potentially broken flows. F-Triage is a simple command line tool for an end-to-end -end packet tracing within the ACI fabric. A verbose output gives you a lot of pertinent details regarding nodes, interfaces that can be useful for debugging. You can also use this as an important data point when opening TAC cases for extended debugging. Thank you for watching this video.